know I'm telling you, like, they added a new ingredient, and it's just question marks. I know, that's what I'm saying, like, how is that even legal? Oh, there's someone there, hello? Yeah, like, welcome to McDonald's, do you have a code? Like, do a program or whatever, a membership thing, app? Okay, cool, what's the numbers? Yeah, I'll remember that, okay. Um, so what are you ordering? The fish fillet? The McFillet sandwich? You're eating fish from McDonald's? I mean, it's your life on the line. This is what you want to do, this is what you want to do. Okay, whatever. Okay, well, just come up to the window. It'll be like $8 or something, so. Hi, yeah. Just gonna get a really good look at you, the one who's ordering the fish fillet from McDonald's. Sorry if you could, like, hear any background noise. We have a cat at this local McDonald's. Yeah, his name's Tigger, and he was just foraging in his little foraging box, so. Anyway, so you got the fish fillet. Car- Stay still. Stay very, very, very still. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look, I know we're strangers. I know we just met. I am not evil enough to let you walk through the world with what I just saw on your head. You have a buck. Yes, a lice, a lice, a louse, whatever. It's right there. Please let me pick that out for you. I'm gonna need you to like come really close though, so come really close, okay? So I can go ahead. Okay, look, this local McDonald's that you're at is also doubles as a community place where we gather to help each other, and you are in luck today. I have done this countless, countless times. Luckily, it's not too busy today. It's just a random Monday at 3 p.m., so that's going to allow me to check your hair. Exactly. Exactly. So, is it okay? If I like touch you and stuff, I think first what I'm gonna do is get like a general look through to see if the problem's like really, really bad, and then we'll do a brush. Cool, cool. We have this bag full of all of the tools that we may need. Right now, um, I lost my other chopsticks, so. So I just had this little paint thingy. Kind of works nicely because you can kind of like go like that to where the hair is parted and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty bad a lot um but that's okay because i'm here to help don't worry yeah yeah it's not it's not the best i've ever seen but it's not the worst you know like you could have the worst hair in the entire world i have seen bad hair trust me do you know the kind of people that show up in this mcdonald's drive through I'm not one to judge, but like, you know. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing quite a problem. There's a lot of problem areas around your ears. And I really want to check the nape of your neck. So if you could just like, yeah, just like lean through your car so I can really get that area. the main issue is 
which makes sense. You have really thick hair, so they they like warmth, but they also like to breathe. <laughs> and they would be sort of suffocating inside, you know, more general areas. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think about how I want to go about this. Um, I guess now we should probably just do a quick comb through. Um, we should brush it first, I suppose, and then comb it. I think that'll probably be the best bet to make sure that you don't have any knots. And then we can pick out some of the lice and do a little bit of a treatment, if that's cool with you. Okay, okay. so... Before I start, I just need a little bit of uh, gloss. I mean, when do I not need more lip gloss? Do you want some? It looks like it would go really good with your outfit. Sorry, I just got it on your eyeballs a little bit. I should go a little bit lower. Yeah, okay. I recently got latex, lasex, lay, laser. You know, the one where they put the laser in your eyes? So my vision hasn't been super great as of late. Um, also, I'm just feeling a little snacky, so I've got some Skittles. Do you have a favorite color, favorite flavor? Mine's, mine's personally red, and then purple, and then yellow, then orange, then green. And I only like to eat them in pairs. One on each side. So, one of my favorite things to do. All you taste is sweet, and when you release your nose, you get all the flavor. Super fun. So I'm going to give these to you. It'll keep you entertained while we're doing the check. McDonald's doesn't really put a lot of funding into the lice checking part of their company, so we have to use the same brush that we brush our cat with. This side is pretty, but this side is pretty clean. Yeah, very nice hair, very long hair. Is this your natural hair color? It's really nice. Sorry, I just have to reach a little bit. It's a really nice color. Okay, that does look pretty good, but I'm just like wondering if I should just kind of go a little bit more. Um, this also helps to disturb the lice and just really allowing the scalp to, to first of all get some blood flow but second of all to get those little buggers running and grooving if you know what I mean uh, okay yeah I mean it looks looks good you have lovely hair by the way very nice okay um so so don't mind that this is um, the only comb that we have a little bit broken. Like I said, they do not be giving us enough funding. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna part the area and pick out some of the bugs just to kind of check out like, um, like how old they are, how long this has been happening for, like what's the age range, if that sort of makes sense. So we're just gonna kind of just looking. I'm just looking for any lice to begin with. 
Yeah, I am seeing them. Once I find like a really good one, I'm gonna pick it up though. can see you've got a lot of different lights and a lot of different age ranges which is a little bit concerning uh, means this has probably been going on for a little bit longer than you might have known or maybe you've just been itchy for a while now yeah yeah it's a it's it's not a big deal though don't worry about it um, we're gonna do the best that we can Like, you guys need to wait your turn. Seriously? Your food is gonna come? What is this gonna take five minutes of your life? What would you even do with those five minutes? Play Raid Shadow Legends? Like, calm down. You can wait. I tell you, people have no consideration for, like, anyone but themselves. I am trying to do a service, you know? I know it's called fast food, but, like, you can wait. Okay, so I'm kind of getting a general feel for the hair. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use this as a way to just stimulate the scalp. Give you a nice little scalp massage in hopes that they'll start a running. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I can definitely tell that they are disturbed for sure. Um, alright. So I'm just noticing that, that you have one little strand of hair that's a little uneven, so I'm just gonna grab, grab that. Don't worry, I have been doing this a long time, and I cut all sorts of hair, I mean all sorts of hair, so if you have any problems down there, you know, towards your feet, you know, if you've got hobbit feet, don't even worry about it, I've got you covered. Okay. That looks good. That looks really good. You look good. Okay. Anyways, what are we supposed to be doing? What are we supposed to be doing? Oh, removing your lice. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through. Nothing there.
Okay, well, I guess I'll just pick them off and throw them on the floor then. Yeah, you have quite a few. I have a hair on my arm. Do I have two? I literally have two hairs on my arms. more than I would like to say. Okay. This strategy is not working out as well as I'd like it to be. But don't worry, I have a new strategy. You ever see this primer before? Yeah. It grips really well. So I'm just got a little bit. And it I'm gonna use it on Mm -hmm. And this is hopefully gonna go ahead and grip all of the little bugs and the nits and I'm hoping that they will run around trying to escape and then they're gonna touch each other and they're gonna be like glued to each other and then I can just get them all in like one big ball if that makes sense. My fingers are really sticky. off on my pants. Okay. And I'm gonna eat two new Skittles. Okay. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of oil to your scalp. It's not opening. Oh, you like my uniform? Thanks. It smells so good. Yeah. Okay. And it makes your hair look really nice too. Oh, my hair is like oily and sticky and it's a mess. Okay, anyways. So we have to let that like sit on your scalp for a little bit. Uh-huh. By the way, you should definitely check out this um gloss. It's called the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss by CoverGirl. Do you see that? It's really good. Yeah. Okay, let me see what else I have to like try and help you. I have scissors. We could just, we could just cut you bald. Like that's an option. Just think about it, okay? We don't really have much for treatment. We do have nail polish though. Oh, I thought I lost this. It's one of those, like, ones that, like, is clear, but then, like, it reacts to your pH on your skin. Do you see that? It, like, reacts to your pH. It's really cool. Yeah, I like it. Anyways, it's by Essence, but, like, look. I bought this for $3, and it shows. Anyways. Yeah, we have a lot of nail polish. If you wanted, we could, like... Try and add the nail polish to your scalp, and like that probably would deteriorate. No, deteriorate. 
like deter the lice. They'd probably just want to leave right away because they'd probably be like, I don't like living in an environment that's full of nail polish. So that's one option. I also have this, which is kind of like hair dye if you really think about it. It's a Tombow water-based brush pen. And like, I could like do this all across your scalp and like, and like really slowly grab each strand and like, And I'm pretty sure lice don't like dye. Like, for honest, real life to God. I don't think they like it. You know, this would make an excellent, like, searching tool. I'm using this the wrong way. Yeah, because, like, it's a lot. I don't think I'm going to be able to comb this all out. What if you just, like, trusted me and let me do what I want to do? And then, like, I promise you you'll be so grateful that you did because it'll look a lot better it'll feel a lot better like your whole scalp your whole life it will be changed um i really think the best thing for you yes is a complete Come on, it wouldn't be so bad. And listen, this one's like for your cuticles and stuff or what? I don't know. It's, it's for men apparently. It says Revlon Men's Series Stainless Steel. Whatever that means. Why do they have to like market things to men and to women? It seems kind of weird. You think that we both use the same scissors. You know, you don't think men are like growing hair out here, or, like eyebrows out here that are like 10 like industrial strength eyebrows, you know? Like, I mean, anyways. It would be really nice. I think you would look really good with a buzz cut. And I don't have any buzzers, but I do have scissors. So if you just let me like... You won't even regret it. Like, it'll be so good. And there are a lot of people honking. So I just think that maybe it would be the best option if we could just move this along a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and snip it right on. What do you think? Okay. You want to try the nail polish thing? No. I suppose I could continue with the brushing out, and then when you go home, you or maybe even like on the way home, you could like get like a lice treatment, even from like Walmart or like Shoppers Drug Mart or something like that. Get a lice treatment, then do a lice treatment on you. Is that cool? Okay. And then you won't have to be bald. But I'm just saying, you would look really good as a bald person. I'm just saying. That's all you have to know about me. Maybe another day though. And also you should dye your hair blue because you would look so good with blue hair. Yeah, I mean that already looks better. I combed through a lot. There are little critters crawling around my toes. Um, so yeah, I guess that's really all I can do for you. I think that's all I can really help you with. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get your cold fish fillet from just over there. If you don't mind paying, Hurry along your way and you can go about your day. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for being patient.
patient and being, you know, kind to yourself and letting yourself be free 